Hi everyone, I'm Arun Malve and welcome back to Good Shoes. We are upgrading a Dell Optiplex Mini 7060 by replacing its SSD. If you are enjoying this tutorial so far and learning something new, take a quick moment to like, share and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon. I choose Dell Optiplex Mini 7060 which is a great for a home lab cluster setup. I chose this because it's an excellent for Kubernetes cluster setup due to its balance of performance, size and cost. There are a few standout advantages uh, when you're using the Dell Optiplex Mini 7060. It's compact form factor, cost effective, decent processing power, upgradable storage and the RAM. So we're going to do the storage in this video, upgrading it to the one terabyte and energy efficient, quiet operations and versatile networking options. This tiny powerhouse is a perfect for the home lab setup and with the one terabyte SSD, you will have ample storage for backups, containerizing workloads and persistent volumes for your Kubernetes cluster. The default hard drive is 256 gigabyte and the new one is one terabyte SSD. It's a game changer which meets the demands for the Kubernetes cluster after upgrading is for the storage, backup, performance, and longevity. So let's get started. So first ensure the system is powered off and unplugged. Safety first. Either you can use the star screwdriver or you can use the hand. Unscrew the back panel slowly, like I show it on the video. Once loose, slide the cover towards the left and lift it off. So slide it towards the left and slowly lift it off. Once the process is completed, you would be able to see the blue plastic cover. Just underneath the cover, the SSD is being installed. So we're going to replace it with the new SSD. That's the original SSD which came along with this Dell Optiplex 7060. While we are here, let's check the RAM. Press the clips to unlock the fan cover and access the RAM beneath. Either you can also upgrade the RAM. I'm going to clip this back, the fan cover. First, unpack the crucial 1TB SSD carefully. Avoid touching the connectors or exposed circuitry to prevent static damage. If possible, wear an anti-static wristband or work in a static-free environment. The crucial P3 Plus 1TB SSD is an excellent choice for your Dell Optiplex Mini 7060. Has, I'm also upgrading my home lab server. Uh, environment especially when upgrading to maximum performance and storage there are great options like its 4.0 interface high speed generous storage and affordable price point and because i got it with an offer for the black friday let's move on to the motherboard locate the existing ssd slot on the motherboard it's a small rectangular slot align the ssd within the slot the connector should match the keying in the slot ensuring it's only fit one orientation. Insert the SSD into the slot at a slight angle around 30 degrees. Once it's fully seated, gently press it down so it aligns with the screw hole. Take the small screwdriver provided or you can use an alternative within the system uh, by tightening it. Be careful not to over tighten as this could damage the SSD or the motherboard. While the case is open, Let's take a quick moment to inspect the RAM. This is a good opportunity to upgrade if it's needed or required. The RAM is located beneath the fan cover. To access it, locate the clips holding the fan. Assemble in place. Gently press these clips inwards to release the fan cover. Once the fan cover is removed, you will see the RAM module installed in the slot. Note, notches in the module aligns with the slots. This is important for proper reinstallation. To remove the RAM module, push the retaining clips on either sides of the module outwards. The RAM will pop up or pop out at an angle, allowing you to remove it easily. If upgrading, aligning the new RAM module within the slot, ensuring the notches matches. Insert it at the same angle, about 30 degrees, and then press it down gently, but firmly until the clips snap into, into a place. And reattach the fan cover by aligning it with the base and snapping it back into the place, ensuring it secure before proceeding. Now we upgraded the SSD and inspected 
or upgraded the RAM, let's close the system. Back up. Underneath the blue plastic case, you can also install an additional SSD and press the clips and slide it towards the right. Once completed, start by aligning the cover with the chases. Slide it towards the right until it snaps into the place securely. Next, use the screw you removed earlier to fasten the back panel. Tighten them just enough to keep the cover firm, but don't over tighten it. Double check that everything is secure and that the cover is flush within the chases. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Good Shoes. Stay tuned for more tech tips and tutorials. See you in the next one.